aside from the fact that you've won six Grand Slams and have been number one, which is just details, uh, you seem to be the most elegant guy, for me at least, and for a lot of people in the history of the sport. So I want to see uh, if you could tell us what the elegant thing to do on and off the court is. I'm going to give you multiple choices. Uh -huh, okay. Question number one, you're hitting terrible shots in a game. A, you blame it on the racket and smash it while cursing at it, mm -hmm. or B, blame it on yourself silently and move on after wiping off the single drop of sweat you've generated after six hours of play. Good. What would I do? Blame it on myself? Of, of yeah, but you go for I, B. Yeah. There you go. Question number two. Yeah. Your opponent has just cheated you and ended up winning the match. Yeah. Do you not shake his hand at the end of the match and trip him up as you're walking off the court? Or do you shake his hand, thank him, and make a point to beat him next time, 6-0-6-0? I uh, would probably go with a second choice, I think. Yeah, but so I would, elegant. Yeah. Amazing. Um, okay, off court. You're walking your dog, and he relieves himself on the sidewalk. Okay? You immediately take out the bag that you prepared in advance, pick up whatever you need to pick up, trash it, and congratulate your dog for a job well done. Or... You take a look, make sure no one's looking, and leave quickly before someone steps in it. I go for f number A, oh. definitely. I have a dog, so you know, you gotta pick up what's. There you needed. go, there you go, I'm telling you. Okay, question four you're in a rush to catch a plane, uh, you're next to get a cab to go to the airport, it's raining, and an old man with a walker is behind you waiting. A, you let him take your place and wait in the rain knowing that you're gonna miss your plane, or B, you jump in the cab, ignore the old person and ignore the driver who's asking you if you want to let him take your place while you're pretending to be on the phone. This is a close call. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, uh, you have a flight to catch. Yeah, I have a flight to catch. Depends how important this flight is. Oh, uh, if it's really, really important, I may go for the cab. Oh, the elegance change. finds its limits. Yeah, maybe finds its limits, but um, it's a close call. Final question. Joe Wilfried Songa asks you to play a set with him. A, do you let him win in order to not make him look bad as he is at the height of his career? Or B, do you serve and volley him until he gets dizzy before beating him and demoralizing him for the rest of his career to the point that he become, decides to quit and become a truck driver? Oh, I see. Now I'll probably go there for the first choice, definitely. You yeah. almost beat him though, didn't you? Yeah, but uh, in I wouldn't let... Yeah, I mean, he, but he was nice to me. Oh, okay. So I had to be even nicer to him. <laughs>